So in the last video we have seen how can you change the account status based on the opportunity status. So if your opportunity stage is lost, your account stage also will be lost. If your opportunity stage is uh, owned, any, any one of these opportunity stages owned, then the account stage also will be owned. Now in this video, we're going to see one more um, automation through process builder which is whenever the opportunity is lost okay whenever one of these opportunity is lost then definitely it will update the account with lost and at the same time it will create another new opportunity under the same account i repeat it whenever an opportunity is lost it will not only update the account status as lost but also it will create one brand new opportunity under the same account correct so now uh, if, if i if i want to test it so let's say i want to make um i will change this and um, where is the stage stage is own save what will happen this is own and definitely this lost will also become own right let me just refresh right See, the status is also owned. Now, next time when I when I will go and test, if I change this opportunity status to close lost, I want this op account also to be lost. And at the same time, I want a brand new opportunity name, let's say OPP3. Okay, OPP3 would be created under the same account. Now, this account has only two opportunity. Once I make this opportunity as close lost, it will there will be three opportunity under the account okay so let's go ahead and build it for that what i'll do is i'll go to the process builders and uh, same process builder i will edit okay what was the process builder update opportunity based on the account status update account based on the opportunity i think this is the one right so this many version has been created so far i'm gonna go to the uh, active this this uh, latest one the version 3 is active so far click on this and as I told you, you cannot edit this um, uh, process builder. Process builder, you cannot edit. You first have to deactivate. And then you have to clone the process builder to edit. Cool. So clone the process builder. When you clone, it is asking you, do you want to create a new version of it? Or do you want to create a brand new process? I said, no, I want to just create a new version of it. All right, save. Now in the new version that you see is the same thing that we had done so far if the stage uh, opportunity stage is on update the account status as on if the opportunity stage is lost update the status as lost right in this lost i will add one more new action here whenever the stage is lost opportunity stage is lost this will happen definitely it will change the status of account to lost that's fine and at the same time i'm going to add one more new action this time i'm going to create a record right create new OPP right what is the record type it's a it's an opportunity so select opportunity I want to create a new opportunity right like that see these are the mandatory fields that we have in opportunity close date name stage is the mandatory field so you have to add some value now, that's why by default when you create a new opportunity the close date name stage will come and you have to fill some value close date let's make it today's date you know how uh, how I can add today's date here. Either I can hard code some date over here, or there's an option called formula. Okay, click on formula, build the formula, and there's a function available called um, click here, go to date and time, and here we have a function called today. Right? Just choose today and use this formula. See, this formula will actually help you to uh, provide today's date as the close date. Cool. Name should be what? OPP3, right? And uh, stage would be, let's say, need analysis. Cool. And uh, focus category is also something that you have to add. So I'm just making it best case. And the most important part is here. What I want is I not only want the account stage um, status also to be updated, but also I want to create the new opportunity under the same account. How do you how do you define in the system that create the opportunity under the same account? Check this out. Click on add row and select the account ID. 
because the opportunity that I'm creating, the account ID should be what is equals to here. You have to use the field reference. I want the um, the opportunity that I'm updating. Okay, understand this. This particular opportunity that I'm updating, I want this opportunities account should be the new opportunities account. You know what I mean? I want. Let me open this opportunity. See, this opportunity has an account. And uh, name of the field is account name, but actually the API name of the field is what account ID. So the same account ID I want to populate in the new OPP3 account ID. How do you do that? You have to go here, select account ID, field reference, and find the field opportunity account ID. Select opportunity account ID. So don't 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 select this this is where the confusion comes right see if you want to populate something from the account record right then you have to select this so if you select this see it is asking you to select one of the field from the account object i don't want that right what i want is i want the account id directly to be populated as the new opportunity account id and that's how you do select account id field reference and here you select opportunity account id okay not this one this one right this is this is what will help you to create the opportunity under the same account click on save i'm done this is pretty simple very basic thing click on activate and now it's a high time to test how do i test it same thing i'll go to this opportunity okay this opportunity stage is what is i think closed on what I'll do is I will edit this opportunity and change the stage from closed on to close lost. Okay, lost. Done. Now what's going to happen? First of all, this lost will um, change the account status also as lost. And uh, here it is. It is lost. What next going to happen? Next action that I have added over here. It's going to not only update the account but also create a new opportunity so if i now refresh this particular account this account right if i go to the related see there's there's another opportunity added called opp3 or if i go back to the same page this opportunity i have updated right if i refresh see you got another opportunity called opportunity 3 correct with stage need analysis and same thing that i've today's date right so today's date is this because uh, I, you know this is what my date but uh, my logged in user right this logged in user has some different time zone which where for where the date is this right so the logged in user current time is what is picking up as today all right so this process builder will help us to create a record last uh, process builder example we had seen how to update and this is where we have seen how to create a record again this is a request please um, replicate this process builder in your system and do the same way uh, testing all right and and see how it works let's catch him in the next video